Last year, NVIDIA released NVIDIA Broadcast, which is a program that allows you to remove the background from your camera without using a green screen. It works insanely well, I hate it. Because as good as it is at removing your background, you still need to have a separate program running in the background, plus you need to have an RTX card, which is still super expensive and ridiculously hard to buy. Unless your uncle's like an oil prince or something. I'm gonna show you a method that's way simpler than NVIDIA Broadcast and looks just as good. In fact, I'll show you exactly how it works right now. All it is is a simple filter that you can add to your camera directly inside of OBS. No extra programs running in the background and no complicated settings to set up. And because it's just a simple filter, you can apply it to literally anything. Multiple cameras, videos, images. You can even have one scene that has your green screen camera and then another scene like a just chatting scene that has your full decorated background. So you have the option to switch back and forth in the middle of your stream. That's not something that you can do with NVIDIA Broadcast. Now, you'll still need an RTX card to get this to work, but don't worry, even if you don't have one, we'll talk about another method that will also work, and the results are actually surprisingly good. But we're not even gonna stop there. Oh no, no, we're gonna take things to the next level. Because with this virtual green screen filter, you'll be able to pull off effects like this, where you can have objects pass behind your head, or this effect where it looks like you're popping out of your camera frame. You can even apply effects to your body independently of the room behind you. We got a lot to cover, so let's talk about it. This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes to help you expand your skill set, which is something you're gonna need to do if you're a content creator. They cover a range of topics. They got a section for film and video, for photography, but I got bored, so I decided to browse the productivity section for a change because... You know, why not? I ended up watching a class by Ali called Starting a Successful Side Hustle, and he talks about how he juggles being a YouTuber with his full-time job, which I no longer have anymore. But he shows up a program called Notion, and the first time I saw it, I was like, what is this? I need to have this. But he shows off how he uses it to plan all of his YouTube videos, scripting, writing, collabing with his editors, and ever since discovering that, I now use the exact same thing to run my own YouTube channel. Yeah, so I wasn't kidding. The entire script for this video was written in Notion, including everything I'm saying right now. None of the videos have any ads, so if you'd like to join, click in the link down below, and the first 1,000 of you will get a free 30-day trial of their premium membership. Hey, you, go follow me on Twitch. I don't need to give you a reason. I think it's pretty obvious I'm trying to get more viewers. Before we can start using that virtual green screen filter that you saw at the start of the video, we're gonna need to install a few things because you're not gonna see it there by default. Like I said in the intro, ideally you're gonna wanna have an RTX graphics card. So anything from an RTX 2060 all the way up to a 3090, as long as your graphics card says RTX, you're good. So if that's the case, then you're gonna want to install the Stream Effects plugin. This is something that we've talked about on the channel before. It adds some features to OBS, like the ability to tilt sources in 3D space and blur your sources. Well, the latest version adds the virtual green screen filter that we're looking for. So make sure that you've updated Stream Effects to the latest version. We'll leave that link down below. You're also going to need the NVIDIA Video Effects SDK. This is what enables the virtual green screen filter to even work to begin with. So it's not optional, you need it. So the links that will also be down below. Now, if you're in the camp that doesn't have an RTX graphics card, none of those filters are gonna work for you, but luckily there's another OBS plugin called Background Removal that does a very similar thing. Again, it's not as good and it does have some settings that you need to tweak, but again, that will be linked down. Just everything's linked down below. Okay, do I have to say that a million times? It's all there. Not gonna bother going through the whole installation process because it's pretty straightforward. If you're having difficulty, they do have their own written instructions, so just go ahead and read that. So with everything installed, all you have to do is open up OBS, right click in your camera, go into filters and add a filter and you should see a new option there called virtual green screen. Click on that and you're pretty much good. There's virtually no settings that you need to tweak. There's one drop down box you can choose between performance and quality. Choose which one works best for you, but for the most part, yeah, that's all you need to do. Now, in my opinion, I think this does an insanely good job of cutting my body out from the background. And because it's using the exact same technology that powers NVIDIA broadcast, you're getting exactly the same results. You just don't need a separate program running in the background anymore. Of course, your results are gonna vary depending on what camera you're using. So I would recommend that you have a good lighting setup so that it could see the outline of your body better. You should probably have a good lighting setup just generally speaking anyway. And it probably helps if you have a background that isn't so busy behind you. I've noticed that if it has anything that even closely resembles a face behind you, like this anime girl in the background or 
guy. I don't know that's a girl or dude, whatever. It does get a little bit confused if it thinks it sees a face behind you. So if you got any pictures of people or posters, maybe take those down. Here's the thing though. This is just a regular filter inside of OBS. And because it's a regular filter, just like anything else, you can apply it to any source that you want. So if you have multiple cameras and you want to green screen them out, you can apply it to multiple cameras. If you have video files and you just want to key out the person in the video file, you can apply to that just the same way as you would to your camera. I even tried keying out just my hands and surprisingly, it did kind of work. It was kind of messy, but the fact that I could even tell what my hands were was pretty cool. As for the non-RTX, <coughs> that was, came out of nowhere, holy shit. As for the people that don't have an RTX card, you're instead going to want to use a background removal filter, which will be underneath this top section that says audio video filters. Unfortunately, this is only going to work for video capture devices like your webcam or capture cards. So if you're trying to apply this filter to like a video file, yeah, it doesn't work for whatever reason. This one has some settings that you need to change and by default, it looks not great. It looks terrible, okay, I'll be honest with you. But you can mess around with the sliders until you get something that looks pretty decent. And I'm not even gonna bother trying to explain what the sliders do because then you're gonna find out that I actually have no idea what any of this means. But you can use my settings as a starting point. Just as a word of advice, do not use the Feather Blend Silhouette. Leave that at zero, that's gonna destroy your GPU. Also, change the Inference Device to GPU. And then this is the big one, change the segmentation model to robust video matting. This one worked the best for me, but obviously do some experimentation to figure out what settings work best for your setup. Now you'll notice that the background is still black and not transparent, which is what we want. So what I did was I changed the background color to green, then I added a chroma key under effect filters. And that gets rid of the green background. Just make sure that you're not also wearing a green shirt. Otherwise you're gonna look like an amorphous floating head. By the way, here's a quick comparison between RTX versus non-RTX. And honestly, non-RTX is not that bad. <laughs> anyway, so however you've decided to green screen your camera, now you can just take your camera, shrink it down, and put it in the corner of your game. If you wanna be a noob. Guys, do you realize how many opportunities for creativity exist with this virtual green screen filter? Opportunities that didn't even exist with a real green screen or NVIDIA broadcast. Take advantage of them. I'll give you guys some examples. Imagine if it were possible to stack your green screen camera on top of your regular unfiltered camera so that you could pass sources like text or images behind your head, kind of like those sources are interacting with the scene behind you. Well, you don't have to imagine because that's actually possible. See, instead of adding the virtual green screen to my camera, I created a source mirror of my camera, which is essentially an exact copy that I can apply filters to, but it won't affect the original camera source. That gives me access to my green screen camera and my regular camera as two separate sources, and I can use those two separate sources for some really, really creative ideas. I'll give you some examples. Let's say I have an intermission scene, and for my intermission scene, I wanna have my full decorated camera behind me, but when I jump into a game, I can green screen my camera to free up some space so I can see more of the game. Or how about that idea that we talked about before where we can stack our green screen camera on top of our regular camera, we can put images in the background, or maybe even shrink down a chat window and have that just peeking behind our shoulders so it kind of looks like it's 3D. You can then take that a step further and create Create channel point rewards that apply filters to your body, but they're only going to affect your body and not the room behind you. There's a streamer named Desynchro that created this really, really fun interactive channel point reward where Mario pops up from the corner, throws a star at him, and he starts flashing rainbow colors and the camera starts pulsing. Like that's a really, really innovative implementation of this green screen filter idea. Another one that I've been working on is this effect here where the top half of my camera is green screened, but the bottom half is just my regular camera. And that creates this cool 3D effect where it looks like I'm popping out of my camera. And it just makes your viewers just wonder how on earth you did it. If any of this stuff sounds familiar, it's because I made a video talking about all of these possibilities like over a year ago, but that was before NVIDIA broadcast existed and before I had an RTX card and $2.5,000 more in my bank account. The point is none of this is just a concept anymore. You can actually do all of these effects. So I'm stoked, I'm pumped. I'm really excited to see what kind of things that you guys can come up with 
You know me, I've already got to work figuring out all sorts of new effects for my stream. It makes me stop dropping frames. We which is watch the anime. I just Wikipedia the plot and act like I know what's going on. Have I dropped any frames today? If you want to see that, check that out. I stream three nights a week on Twitch. Other than that, um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. And uh, yeah, click on all the shit that's around here. See you guys next time.